was an architecture student in Beijing without any idea in the game industry. I just want to create something really unique, really cool, really different from what I played before, but I really didn't know what it began was until three years later. City of Flame will keep the dark and deep storyline driven by Town of Death and push it further. There will be a lot of plots, a lot of complex plots, uh, well-framed plots, and plots within plots. <laughs> Bring Blood 2 really takes a step further. Not only does it have a longer story, in fact, um, the story is so engaging that you will not feel satisfied until you reach the end of the game. a lot of subtle expressions of love, friendship, and hatred, or in the Chinese wuxia context. Because of this, it becomes very difficult for other people to join the team and work on the artwork because it's too personalized. As you see, the sequel becomes much more neutral, but keeps the color tones and moods defines what Rembrandt is. disgusting, so on and so forth.
Um, my biggest challenge scoring for Rainbow 2 is all about the feeling of the music. I constantly remind myself of the dark, mysterious, and intense um, story that Rainbow has. I spent about one month or two just brainstorming before I actually compose anything. And during that composing process, I have done a lot of thinking and the communication with SoulFrame to make sure that this is what we want and this is the world we create. Since Ringblood is a Chinese RPG game, um, I, I tried my best to combine the Western and traditional music, uh, traditional Chinese music. This is actually pretty hard to achieve, and I think the result is um, very satisfying. And uh, you will hear guitar playing along with Yang Qing, and uh, harp playing along with uh, Gu Zheng, and which are very interesting and surprising to listen to if you pay special attention to the details. version of Rainbow 1 came three years later after its original Chinese version, and I bet this time it would have been more than three months.